Welcome to Outside Your Zone. In this episode, the team take on the Atlantic in our first ocean voyage, sailing around the west of Mull through an impending storm in our effort to take the Blue Spur to the very edge of the British Isles. We began this leg of our adventure in the colourful town of Tobermory. This isolated settlement is situated on one of the only safe anchorages for vessels heading to and from the vast ocean to the west. That is mythical and magical. It's like it's time for a shower, right? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get drenched. Oh! Oh! I failed! <laughs> We're about ready to leave from Tobermory. Alex is going to get himself on the sib. Let's go. I'm off to Iona. I'll do your boot it. Come on, lad. Hold on. <laughs> Get in. See you yeah, later, coach. <laughs> then we're away. Goodbye, Tobermore. So, what was the story in Tobermore? We had thoroughly enjoyed our time in Tobermore with many happy memories made. Grandad boarded the ferry back to the mainland and we set out on what was sure to be one of the most challenging stretches we had ever attempted on board the Nick. So today is Captain Rob's birthday. How old are you? 26 bells. 26 bells. <laughs> Get up, Captain Rob! Get up, Captain Rob! If you're a long time viewer of the channel, as you'll know, we always do a birthday mission for our Rob. I always have a week long birthday, coaches. I would highly advise <laughs> opting for a week long birthday every <laughs> chance you get, especially if first, it's in the summer. Yeah, first one was the Ped Venture. Then we had the Man Mish. And now we're on our own boat. Doing a madness. Leveling up. As we headed west through the sound of Mull, the calm seas gave us no indication of what was to come. We hoisted the sails and set our course towards the island of Iona. This would be our first time taking on the ocean in the Blue Spur. The plan was to complete our circumnavigation of Mull by heading southwest around its Atlantic coast. This would be one of the greatest challenges the team had attempted so far, but we were confident that our sturdy vessel was up to the test. So this is our first ocean voyage. We've been in the North Sea, we've been in the Firth of Clyde, we've been in the Irish Sea, we've done a lot of sea stuff, we've never actually touched the ocean. So really exciting stuff. New beginnings for OYZ. Sam and Rob are setting up the handlines. Handline? Look at that huge red kecker. Surely we're gonna catch some of tea like. That's right. Just coming around the northwest side of Mull right now. And you can already tell that the Atlantic is starting to take effect. Not only would this be the first time that we would pilot the Blue Spur in ocean conditions, but it was also a good opportunity to put our new sib, the Hydrus H6, to the ultimate test. Look at those islands. Ah, the turd. The turd and the sombrero. The skies were still clear, and we could see the Treshnish Isles in the distance. These final rocky outcrops reminded us of the huge expanse that lay on the other side. The wind is picking up and so are the swellers.
What a location, by the way. Look at those islands. The Greyhound is a three-masted wooden tall ship commissioned to replicate the Cornish lugger of the same name built in 1776. That is so cool. What a boat! That is, oh, I would love to be on that. That is a proper beer, that, look at the skeg. So Alan's out in the sib in these massive swells, and there's the Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho Gaffrig. The original carried eight cannons and an armed crew, working for His Majesty's Revenue and Customs as a patrol boat to counter smuggling. This boat then became a privateer ship after John Paul Jones's brutal attack on Whitehaven during the American War of Independence. Start cranking it in. Change your weight and that, everyone. The gravity of this mission started to set in as the weather began to turn and the skies darkened. Oh my god. <laughs> Rams and I just saw a massive dorsal fin and a seal. Uh, and it was only there for a couple of seconds and we couldn't get the camera out and we have no idea what it was. Whoa! We have no idea what it was. But these conditions are raj. This is proper ocean training. Watch yourself for the boom. This is definitely up there with some of the maddest scenes I've ever sailed the vessel in. Well, thankfully, I've got the Shed Adventures life jacket. Shout out Shed Adventures, go subscribe to him. He didn't want to see us wearing those pointy aids no more. Sombrero Island. Sombrero. Known to the English as the Dutchman's Cap, this island is called Backmoor in the Treshnish Isles. Right, so we filled up the Genoa so we could put the main sail away without rams getting slapped up. <laughs> uh, we're going to unfurl it now and do the last bit of sailing towards Iona. Thank goodness for pilot houses. <sighs> Otherwise, we would be soaking right now. Uh, we would not be enjoying our sounds. Alex Gars would be soaking. Alex Gars, I feel sorry for you, mate. Anytime it rains, I think of you, son. Lately in the canals, we learnt in the currents at Doris Moor, and now we're learning in the North Atlantic off the Isle of Mull. And these are some serious sailing conditions. Luckily, this is a motor sailor, so we've just got the Genoa and the mizzen up, and we're doing a nice, easy 5.5 knots. Whoa! What it seems like is that we're the only vessel out here. I can't see another vessel anywhere. The only vessels we saw were going back into land. And Ramsey's still smashing at the helm. And we just saw some puffins. Been sprinkled so on. That, man. Like you can tell that this is like a lot shallower, maybe with the sandbanks. I think this is the sandbank area. Mm. And this is the Ross of Mull. We're currently like here. And uh, we're gonna go around Iona and find somewhere to get ourselves away because we are the only ones out here right now. The only folks. We've in missed the, ocean. the message, yeah? How much are you trying to come to our boat? 
Yes! Uh, yeah, they're right there! The one's right there! Right underneath us! Yo, they're right there! Right above! Right above! Jesus, look at that! Do you see it there? What the f***? Yo, yes! Yes, yes! Oh, no, God, oh, no, yes! Yes! Oh, Yo! My God. <laughs> no way! Look out there. Bro, look, they're oh, underneath God. us right now, man. Yo, there! Literally, look at it. You can see them, bro, they're everywhere, look. Yo! Yo! Drink. Yo, oh, drink. No. <laughs> no way, there's so many! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that, Sam! Wow, wow, wow! Yo, this is three right there, Sam! These are mental conditions. Whoa! They're like actual dolphins, you know, not war voices. Yes! Oh! oh they're so close. They're loving this boat, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Whoa! They're, they're either side. Yo! Whoa! They're everywhere, bro! Yo! One, two, three. Yo, that is so exciting. Oh, another one. And another one. There's at least five individuals. Whoa, 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 six. There's at least six. be loads of fish there. Get a rod in, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, whoa, there's literally like 20. Oh, that's insane. Yo, whoa. Four. Yo. could identify these as common dolphins from the yellowish grey stripe and underbelly. It was incredible to see so many up close. Right then, so the weather's got a bit bad. We've had to change our plans a little bit. And uh, what we've decided to do is, if you look at the map here, I can show you. Basically, we were up here, thought where on the shaft of Mull would be a good place to anchor up. And we found a little bay in there right on the chull of Mull. So we're going to make our way in there now, drop the anchor right underneath the head. This is our first time ever yeeting the anchor out. So uh, I'm not 100% sure on what to do, but I've got a good idea of what to do like that. This trip has all been all about practice for the main mission. And we've had massive seas today, that was good practice. We've done the Corinne, which is good practice for the French canals. And uh, our Rams is going to practice with the anchor. It's away. Feels pretty secure. It's also not it's also not a heavy anchor as well. So because if we were doing heavy winds, we put the other anchor on. That's what we did. Luckily we're in this safe little bay. Exactly, it's way more sheltered in here than it was out there, like. Today was mental, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, I need a hot chocolate. Yeah. And a chill. And a chill. And and that fire on. Yeah, That's what I need. What a day. What a die. Get up. There you go. Spam. I swear it lasts like 25 years since it's been. So we're going for some spam fritters as a starter. And then onto the sausage pasta. Sailing meals. Always delicious. 
more often than not out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers, Sam. No worries. Cheers, Sam. The busty the, meal. The, the bus day meal. Got the bus day jalapenos on. No. Get the torch on. Get up. We're rounding the end of Mull. Ruthless and dangerous. Bit of the good old Scottish mist. Whoa! Get in! Rob has just spotted a fishing vessel over there. And he's gonna go with 20 bar in one hand and a plastic bag in the other to try and secure some nice seafood straight out of the ocean. I'm hungry as out, so I can't wait. Good! And I'm open for some lango. Langos. Lango, lango. Go on, the boys. Give us a give us an outside your zone. What, what's that? Outside your zone. Outside your zone. Outside shout that. Zone. Yeah. Outside your zone, eh? I shout it. Outside, outside your zone. zone. Yes, the boys. Get in. Success time. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at these guys, man. Get them in the water. Come on, do it again then. Nah, I'm not doing that again. Uh, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ah! Ah! Fucker! 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 Get it off! Get it off! Ah, oh, the fucker! Actually, yeah. <laughs> so we're just about to start rounding the Ross of Mull. We've sent Rob off in the sib to go through the Sound of Iona, which will be an interesting mission. We're going to come round this sandbank and then make our way eastward. Stop it! Yes, the team. So I'm on the way out on the Hydrus H6, aka my new favourite sib. I'm going on a mission to Iona, right through the Iona Sound. Look at this! This is just unbelievable. This is a magnificent place. This is where we were thinking about going yesterday, but with it being sketchy, sketchy conditions, we didn't want to force it through these narrows here. And uh, to be honest, as nice as this place looks, I'm glad it wasn't here that we tested our anchor for the first time. Get up! So this here is the, is the passage that we were considering taking our yacht through yesterday. Very scary stuff. Just can't even see it right now. Look at that. It's just fantastic. Imagine taking a yacht through there, what? So I'm about to touch down on Iona. First time in my entire life. Absolutely beautiful, the water's so clear. So just moored up the hydras on Iona. Tied it to a little log down there. And I'm going to have an explore. Let's have a look and see what we can see. This place is definitely up there with one of the coolest places I have visited on a sib. So cool. I shall definitely be returning one day with the grandkids or summit. Now I'm just going to work my way around the island and try and locate the Blau Spower like. So Alan took the night shift watching the anchor last night and Rob is currently in the sound of Iona as you will know. Uh, so it's me and Rams on the bridge. Just come through these nice little rocks here. I'm hoping that somewhere around this corner will be the Blue Spur. That is insane. Get yourself some quacks now. Credit where credit's due for the Hydrus 3.3. This is a serious vessel. I mean, look at that. I know the GoPro shrinks the waves, right? But they're definitely not small, right? They are not small waves in the slightest. They're rolling in from the Atlantic. We are 
I've been hearing stuff get dashed all over the place in the saloon for a while now. It's crazy to think that the next piece of land that way is literally America. Mad. It's crazy to think that we'll be crossing that soon. Not from this angle like, but soon. The ocean is teaching us some valuable lessons today, uh, but it's, it's things that we need for our big mission around the world, so. Captain Rams on the helm. in our favour and we were making good progress but unbeknownst to us a crucial mistake had been made oh, I thought you meant forever then yeah, I, I, thought it was, I thought he had left a while ago when he <laughs> said that I was like no way I was in it and I was like yes yeah same <laughs> 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 that, 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 that was that further away right now that was Where's we had tied off the sib through the creel roller and it snapped, cutting our new vessel loose to flow off into the ocean. Right, I'm gonna try and jump down. Take your time, Sam. Yeah, BRG. Go on, Sam. Yes, sir, boys. We were now riding the rolling swells east back towards the mainland, and it was a perfect opportunity to test out the handling of the hydras in the open ocean. What a beast! The hydrus is so mint and we nearly sprinkled it. Yeah. Taking an inflatable boat into the North Atlantic. Let's go! The resident OYZ rope master, looking like a true sailor in his buoyancy aid. In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> But you can swim well. I can swim really well. Right. And the sib will never sink. Yeah, what resident rope tire and resident sib finder apparently. Yeah, can't believe that the sib came off. But overall, it is a decent, decent boat. Like we are putting it through its paces. We're really testing it. And we would also recommend the gym foam. Like even though the floor in this boat is really nice, gym foam is always the one. Can't get anything sharp through it. Gives you structure, makes it more comfortable. The whole entire week has been mental. We've really been practicing the skills that we need for crossing the Atlantic. So on the North Atlantic Ocean, in big swells, with two people, the Hydrus is completely capable. We're just picking our line over the big swells, trying to surf them down, not trying to get any slams in. And, uh, whoa, and it's doing really well. And then we're in the bucket there. That was a bucket and a half. Well done, the boys. Cheers, Tom. That's never coming off. So we were hoping to at least see uh, Alex go sailing. We were hoping to see him out here because he uh, told us that he was coming out and circumnavigating Mull. But we just had word from him and he's not here. He didn't come. Uh, so disappointing. Everybody go and check out Alex Goes Sailing. So we're currently about here. We need to make our way to like here. This is how far we've come this mission. It's been an absolute monster mission all the way around Mull. That's some mad crack that. <laughs> Where are we heading to now? Now, we're heading back to Crinan. 
and hopefully getting in tonight. Right, it's getting towards sailing time. The conditions have changed a little bit and we're getting a bit more wind. So we're gonna see if we can pump this wind all the way in to below Garb Eye Leech. I don't know. Having almost completed our circumnavigation, the seas had calmed as we headed through the Salate Islands towards the whirlpools at Doris Moor. It had been an incredible mission and the team had been forced to put many of the skills that we would need for our round the world adventure to use. The Inner Hebrides had been one of the most amazing locations we had ever visited with so much dramatic scenery and stunning views. We hope to one day come here again to spend more time exploring the countless islands and see more of the unbelievable wildlife that inhabits this part of the world. This area is an adventurer's dream with rich history and culture. We had thoroughly enjoyed our time navigating its wonderful and treacherous seas. One day when we have completed our circumnavigation of the world, we hope to come back here with the OYZ team and once again experience that magical feeling that only Scotland can create. This had been the mission of a lifetime, sailing the Blue Spur out into the unknown. We had once again discovered the true meaning of OYZ. We were proud of each other for achieving something that had been a dream of ours for years. It had been as challenging and fulfilling as we could have ever imagined. We were not home yet and there were still obstacles between the team and dinner in the safety of the anchorage. we would once again have to navigate our way through the tidal rips at Doris Moor. We're absolutely flying right now because we're going the same direction as the current in the whirlpool. We're doing six knots. I can really feel the forces pulling on this steering wheel. Lots of shallow areas, lots of stuff to avoid, but we're doing it. We're about to complete our circumnavigation of Mull. We're about to cross our initial line. Yes! through Doris Mauer. Now what else we can do about it, we just need to get it done. Look at this rip dive. Honestly, that is more ripped than Bobo. Whoa. These seas are mental. Look at that. Like a rip tide. You wouldn't want to be swimming in that. Whoa! Yo ho, what up, she rises? Yo ho, what up, she rises? Yo, what up, she rises? And I in the morning. So we've just been sailing along peacefully, enjoying ourselves. 
and uh, this yacht come up behind us and he thought it was a good idea to go through a whirlpool at the same time as the boys, like, yeah, maybe it's not the smartest, wisest idea unless you're a pirate ship trying Whoa. to take out the other yacht. What a wise guy. We are under some mad swells right now and there's serious pressure on the steering wheel and now there's also pressure from a local hero <laughs> in his yacht. He's pushing us towards the rocks. Look at that, that's an actual eddy. The whirlpool. Mad. You can feel it on the rudder. 6.8! 6 6.9! 6 oh! 7! Yes! <laughs> 7 knots through a whirlpool! 7.2! We're going rapid! So coaches, if you imagine a whirlpool, or a black hole for that matter, if you're into your sci-fi, think of Interstellar, where they go into the black hole just to the side and then get shot out the other side. That's what we're doing with this whirlpool now. We're going into it through the side and we get shot. Slingshot. We get slingshotted. Seven bells. Absolutely slung. Seven bells, eh? Obviously, Doris is gone for it, eh? Yeah. Nearly there, Doris. Oh, Doris just keep going. We're getting close to those rocks. Aye. These lot are going right down the middle. We are close to the side. Look at that, man. The world pool. We are getting absolutely yeeted. Oh, there. We've got an island here. And we're going through that gap. All the way to Grinham. They are getting close, like. <laughs> Look at that island. There's a reason why it's one at a time down the slides at Centre Park's net. Just bounce with your mind. close to that. The GoPro will make it look far oh. away but we are very very close to that tip. Once again the iron brew has got us through. It's something that I will severely miss when we go around the world and it's one of my favourite rations that we get when we're sailing around Scotland. Haha, <laughs> yo, three, and a baby one. We've timed it absolutely perfectly. It's just start, starting to get dark now. Standard crack that. We always try and push it to the absolute max that we can achieve in a day and the daylight is disappearing on us as we speak and we're just about to safely moor up and chill for another night on the blue spare and scram some langos go on rams i've been waiting all day for those langos go on laddie get in easy win and we've made it on the visit of birth. Look at these langos, eh? They're about as fresh as it gets. They're going straight in the pot right now. Yes, look at that, eh? Just popped it out, popped it in. Look at this one. Genuine Royd Riguez Stedman. <laughs> look at that. One for the final kaka. These have been unreal. Very, very tasty. Get them in. Mmm. Mmm. Get in. Oh, that should be good. You ready? Yep. Oh, 
Once again, I am looking fresh as out to lift up this lobster pot in the morning. Oh, crabs. We miss some crabs. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, we've got bear crabs. We've got fish. fish. We've got fish, boys. We've got bear crabs and fish. What? What? We've got dorks. We've got Plus little like dogs. five dorks. They look like mini Pollock, bro. Yeah, they do, don't they? These crabs are making their way to freedom. Oh. Look at him, he's lethal. Oh, he's like sharp at hand. Ooh. That's a proper like bone breaking. No, he's holding on to the rope. He's trying to pull the sheet in. He wants some fell, did you know her? Isn't it? Ah, look, look at those fish, man. What is this one? I know, I told you one's different. That's a ras. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's a ras, yeah. And then the rest of the pollock, I reckon. Yeah. So, yeah. That's he's mad. He's beautiful though, isn't he? Yeah, that's so cool. He's a beautiful yeah, looking dangerous one out of here. Yeah, <laughs> get him away. I might just go on. Oh! <laughs> our next task was to make our way back into the Crinan Canal. Ahead of us in the first lock, we encountered a true adventurer with an inspirational story who is badly underappreciated on YouTube. What's the YouTube channel? Is it Green Mile Man? Green Mile Man, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Green Mile Man. Nice one. Get in. We've got a YouTube channel, so we'll give you a shout out. Get Last in. year, it was um, 1,300 miles, completely solo in a wheelchair, from, from Land's End to the last inhabited island in the UK. No, no way. way. There was 103 videos of last year. Wow. And uh, there's all this year from where I've been to now. Awesome. Crazy! If you follow it, subscribe and then you'll see the board before. Yes, awesome. man, will do. We entered the first lock with confidence as we had taken on many of the lessons we had learned on our way through the canal last time. Our aim was to make it all the way through in a single day. In it. Look at that! What a beast, bro. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah, what an insane boat! Yes! No, you don't. That's so nice. There's two buzzards and one unidentified flying animal. This canal once again gave us a heartwarming experience of cooperation and friendship as we made our way through the many locks in tandem with a vessel that had sailed all the way from Europe. So we've been diving through with a couple from Belgium. They're really nice, really sweet. We've been helping them out, they've been helping us out. Um, but our French is not good enough. So that's something that we need to do before the French canals learn some French. We've nearly finished our transit of the Crinan Canal and we've managed to do it in one day by the skin of our teeth. It's five bells now. These boys actually clock out at five bells, but they've decided to be heroes and get us through this last lock. This is the second last lock. We've got one more to go, and that's the blue spur back in the salt. Listen, if you haven't already subscribed, you know that we've earned it, coach. Subscribe like I. The last lock into the sea. Boys, we've got some mac and cheese. If you look very, very carefully up at that life ring, there's an OIZ sticker in the middle. <laughs> I reckon we've got 100 crabs. 100 crabs. 30 crabs. Yeah, some, like a ridiculous number of crabs. That is Shit. ridiculous. Oh, look at him with his claws, but he's ready for a fight. We're away from Ardrashag, and we're going to Butte. Last leg. Final stretch of this mega voyage. Back home to Butte for a pint with our Alan. Go on, give this. There you go. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm getting better and better at that. Brams has taught me. Obviously, I'm quite new to sailing, but I feel more comfortable putting the sails up now. Joe Usher, a good friend of OYZ, is playing at his first music festival today. We're very proud of him. We're wishing him luck. We wish we could have been there, but unfortunately, we've got missions to do. So, Joe, good luck. I know you're going to smash it. Everyone go and check out Joe Usher. Links in the description below. A curious sound from the engine bay spelled trouble for the team. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> snapped. Fully. Fully snapped. Fully. There's another part. Yeah, look at how frayed that is. Jesus. Ew. Alex and I have just furled the Genoa away so that we can go a bit slower and hopefully make it a bit steadier for when uh, our new mechanic, Rob, fixes this fan belt. 
Right, so I've managed to find the belt that was required. Uh, initially when we pulled the belt out, it, it shredded off the outside, so we couldn't tell what the numbers were, so I was literally doing it by like comparing sizes like hair. Yeah. So the belt's got to get us all around three points, so there's a bit of work needed to be done. I'm going to have to loosen this um, leisure battery alternator, slip the belt from there, and then get this belt behind that belt, up over the part that's on the main engine that turns it all, and then we should be back in the game, to be honest with you boys. And this is the belt. So I'm going to be a grubby boy today, fingering around in dirty spots like hair. Yeah. We're in the game, boys. Aye. We're, We're in, in the, the game. game. Oh, I see. So we started fixing it at quarter past 11. Two and a half hours in, boys. <laughs> Get in. Mm. Sorted. Oh, we've had one seized bolt. We've worked our way around it. We've done everything that we need to do. And uh, the belt's back on the engine now. Eh? Let's have a look at your hands. We're gonna open the seek off for a little bit, let the water run through, or hope it runs through. And then, we'll give it a little try. We've got both the alternators spun back out so the belts are nice and tight. We're going at a fair pace, with Ramsey on the wheel, five knots, making some good progress. Hopefully, get back in time for a pint of the anchor. In it, I want a pint of the anchor so bad. So it's been powering us through this, like, always think of an end goal and dream of it and then you'll get there. The anchor's open until 1am tonight, so we've got until then. We've got until 12.59 uh, to get ourselves to the anchor for a pint of tenants. Yeah! <laughs> yes! We're level now because we're sailing downwind, so I'm going to check the oil. We're in the game. First time trying the engine since the fix has been applied. Let's have a look. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, that is flying! That is magnificent, mate! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> He's absolutely flying. Whoa! Yes! Yes! That's absolutely rapid, mate. Yeah. I like it a lot. Love the channel. <laughs> oh, you love the channel? Yes! What? Really? Yes. Oh my god! No way! He loves the channel! Oh my god! Get up, get up! Get up! Yes! Super fun! Super fun! Super fun! Super fun! Right, we're gonna go and give him a sticker for each hull. Check benches, don't worry. <laughs> I absolutely cannot believe that. That's crazy, that is, isn't it? That is unbelievable. Like, we were admiring him from afar because he was absolutely flying. And then he literally came back around just to tell us, get up. And then he flew right back around again and we were just talking to him and he said he loved the channel and obviously he's a hero. So, stickers for the man. Right, be careful Rams, it's going to yes. be a skillful operation. Aye. Oh, damn. Oh! Yes, mate! Figure. Get yes, in! He's, yeah, he's called Lindsay! 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 Woo! Get up, get up! Yes! He's 
rapid! Look how fast he is! Look how fast he is! Oh my god! Get in! What a hero, man! Auto, auto hero! Love it! Listen, we love when you come and interact with the boys. We love that stuff. This guy's a legend. In a sick boat and all. He's flying along. Unbelievable, man. What a vessel and what a guy, man. What a guy. Get him. Lindsay, if you're watching this right now, big love, yeah? Get up. Yeah, guys, I want you to find Lindsay's comment and everybody give it a like. What a beast. Beastly. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lindsay! Woo! Woo! Yes! Today, me and Rams are going to sip fishing and we're going to see what we can get. We've just seen lots of gannets diving, so we're going to go and see if we can uh, look in on that as well. Look at Dunn Vegan! There's the gannets. Just seen them diving all around us. And Ramsey the genius fisherman is on the rod. Genius. Got a different reel on this time, a much heavier. Yeah, we've got a much heavier reel on this time. Some different lures. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I definitely have a fish here. Ramsey's got a fish on on the first cast. Right. Get him in. <laughs> oh! Is one handed up? Is it heavy? I don't know, but I don't think it is, no. There's a wriggling garn on, for sure. Gannet's diving in over there. We knew it. We knew when you follow the birds, you always catch fish. See it? Nah, I see nothing. No way. No way. No, there it is. Oh. Yeah, see that? Oh. What is it? I don't know. It's tiny, man. Oh, it's a tiny little mackerel. He's back in the water, man. Yeah. So, how big is he? Twenty-five centimeters. To be fair, okay. is he away? Yeah, he's away. Right, twenty-five centimeters, but he's away. See you later. He swam off nice and strong. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. So good, 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 good. All good. So the gannets have disappeared. We're not getting any bites. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Sib Fishing. Unfortunately, we only got one, and he wasn't big enough to take home. But there's always next time. Subscribe for Mauer. Subscribe for Mauer. Mauer. If you subscribe, we will get more fish. That's how it works. It's exactly how it works. Subscribe and like. If you like, actually, we'll get another 35 centimeter monster. Right, right thanks for watching this episode of Ram and Sam Go Fishing. That's it. Back to Buton in the anchor. Back to Buton in the anchor. Back to Buton in the anchor with our main man Alan. Yo, what up? She rises, yo. mission what an unbelievable mission i am brain drained but i'm so happy literally yes ah! Woo! and there's the blue spur sexy beast and there's the anchor it may as well be a lighthouse bro because he's literally what i'm driving straight towards <laughs> you don't want to be driving straight towards a lighthouse <laughs> We would like to say a special thank you to our newest Admiral, Matt Cooper. Thanks to the whole crew for supporting us along the way. Don't forget to check out our new online store at outsideyourzone.shop.